All right, welcome back. This week's show, uh, why detoxing in your body is important. That's what we're going to be talking about this week. Some so good if you stuff. think detoxing means don't talk, you really want to pay attention to this show. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. A lot of stuff to go through. But, you know, I think before we start, we should kind of cover some of the, you know, points of getting getting the information uh, more in depth. I mean, we're going to cover some great yeah. things in the show. Yeah. But You want to make sure you can go to the website. Um, on there, there's all kinds of really useful information about not just detoxing, but about chiropractic and weight loss and all those kinds of things. Of course, there are links to the blog yes. and Facebook and Twitter and all those kinds of things. And the, the radio show and yep. the videos, there's lots of really useful stuff out there. Again, we, we really are trying to get the information out to the public so that they don't, they can help themselves. Right, exactly. I mean, we're not trying to get people addicted to doctors. No. Okay, we want them to be self-reliant so they're really taking care of themselves and they live a maximized life that's, that's the, right that's the goal here. yeah i mean really own, own your own health and right. utilize the services and the knowledge that the doctors have out there when you need it to when it comes along right. in your plan right my, my right? opinion is again emergency medicine is a wonderful thing but they shouldn't be used for everything else I mean, no that's the way i look at it. exactly <laughs> exactly for sure yeah, so, so today we're going to be talking about toxins you know and how they affect i mean detoxifying your body and toxins so what What's a toxin? You know, <laughs> a toxin, it's a great question. A toxin is anything that's going to really affect how your metabolism is functioning, how your systems, you know, you have 11 body systems in your, you know, 11 systems in your body, and they can all be affected. So a toxin can come, anything that comes in and really manipulates that yeah. and shifts how your body is functioning and makes it actually take, go in a direction that's not healthy. Yeah. And that's really the goal. And most people don't really, really understand that they're, they're touching, to they're using toxins. All the time. Every day, yes. I mean, we, we live in a very chemically rich world, mm -hmm. and there's just lots of stuff out there. So you can't really walk outside and breathe without breathing in some toxins, believe it yes. or not. You can't drive in your car without sucking in a little bit of the fumes from the car because it's producing toxins. Yep. There's toxins in the water, even though they filter it. Yep. Uh, there's toxins in the food. So if you, for, for example, buy canned food or yep. pre-made foods or any other, there's things in those. So let's talk about some of those. I mean, yeah. I read in the article that you have, so we talk about radon gas. Most people don't know, radon gas, what the heck is that, radioactive stuff or what? It comes out of the ground. It does. It comes out of the ground. You know, a lot of people don't realize that even when they have a house, you actually have a, a vent right. for this radon gas so it doesn't go in your house. It goes through and out. As a matter of fact, one of the things, they ins when you go to buy a house, they actually inspect for that because it's a, it's a huge problem. It's it not is. something that's... Sort of out there, uh, booga booga land. It That's happens right. regularly, and it happens all over the country. Happens all over the world. This is right. stuff that just leaks out of the ground, and it's actually really, really bad for you. <laughs> it is. It is. You know, and, and it's uh, it's it's something that they created a code for. They they regulate it, and it's something you really don't want to have. So if you, if you don't, if you're not aware of the radon situation right. around you. Get aware of it so you know that, hey, at least I know I'm safe in this environment and it's not something I have to worry about as a toxic yeah, water to your body. The, the next item on here was like drinking water, contaminated drinking water. Now, the people up in Detroit, it's got a uh -huh. serious problem up there. Flip. Yes. But it's not just Detroit. I mean, when you have a storm like we just had, Matthew, blow through here, it messes up the water system. It does, yes. So a lot of the pumping, filtering systems get turned off, and now that contaminated water is in the lines. Oh, yes. So it can get into your house. Uh, yep. On top of that, if you just have, you know, those algae blooms and things like that, mm -hmm. well, the, the fish that you're catching yes. are in this toxic water. They are. No. And now you're eating now, mouse, now so now you're eating getting the, the toxicity <laughs> from that, you know. Or, you know, the other thing about that is the animals that you eat. You know, right. the, the animal products that you eat, you know, where have those animals been? Right. Have they been in an environment that's had toxic things put on the land well, that they're oh, eating? For example, you may not think of antibiotics as a toxin. Right. But it can have a toxic effect in your body if you have too much of any kind of anything. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, an antibiotic, we talked a lot of times, you know, that can actually shift your metabolism and you can gain weight from it. And, again, if they're giving the antibiotics to the animals in, as injections versus feed, it can have other things in it like mercury and who knows what. Okay? Exactly. So there's all kinds of stuff that's out there that you really got to pay attention to. And, again, if you're not eating lean meat and you're eating the fat, the fat in the animal has the toxins. That's right, because it's a defense <laughs> mechanism of our bodies right. to store toxins in fat. Yeah. So when I went through the Nutramost program, one of the things I discovered was there were other things that most people never think of as having toxins. So yes. soap that you bathe with, the, the real you know, yes. bar of soap. That's right. Because, again, it's touching your skin. It's touching your You know, I always teach my patients it's 22 seconds when it hits your skin to get into your bloodstream. Right. Boom. 
Yeah, I mean, so soaps can have all kinds of things in them because, again, most people aren't buying ivory soap, which is pretty pretty clean. Okay, don't have anything That's in right. it that I can think of. And how often do you use soap? Every day. Right. I mean, at least I use it every day. <laughs> you know, another thing is makeup. Yeah, makeup has all kinds of stuff in it. When you dye your hair, ladies. Yes, <laughs> that has a lot of toxins in it. A lot of toxins in it. Um, toothpaste. Believe it or yes, not. <laughs> toothpaste is another big thing. You know, shampoos, toothpaste, All those lotions, kind of, lotion, lipstick. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and anything that's going to make contact with your skin, it has a point, a point of entry. Right. And it can come in, and it can get into your bloodstream, and it can become a neurotoxin, and it can become a pathological toxin. There's a lot of things that can happen when right. you start having these pro, uh, these products. And you look at that, and you say, why in the world would you put that in soap? Because a lot of times right? it just makes the soap stay together. Right. Better because they didn't want to use animal fat. A they wanted to use agent. something. Right. right. They wanted to use some other bonding agent to hold the thing together. Cheap. Or it has a smell <laughs> that they've developed that they have a patent on. Right. Or some other thing like that. I mean, we're talking about those kinds of things. There are other things in food that you have to watch out for because today we have. We, most of the food we eat is not food, it's like chemistry. It's, it's chemistry. You know, yeah. well, you talk about <laughs> the colors, right? Right. They have artificial colors, artificial flavorings. They have preservatives. Preservatives, and then they add genetically modified foods. Right. Which we again, you may not think of a genetically modified food as a toxin, but if your body doesn't know how to handle that genetically modified food, that's a problem. So if you got a tomato that's half, you know, uh, fish, you know, uh, cod or whatever the hell it is, <laughs> like the guys, did, you know, they, they have this tomato that's supposed to like be a able to a stromato. Yeah, well, the, the strawberry the, tomato. Yeah. The tomato is actually supposed to be able to handle the cold, so they crossbred it with fish, fish genetics. Yeah. Fish genetics. Yeah, okay. it's a DNA splice, right? right. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, how does your body handle that tomato fish or whatever fish exactly. tomato? Whatever? <laughs> You know, I'm not, do you have to get a license to catch those things? <laughs> you know, Can you throw your fish? Wait a minute, no. That's right. You it's know, one of those the, crazy things. Is, you know, and even when people are doing the, the diligence of trying to read labels and doing those things, you've got to be very careful because the things that they put in the thing called natural ingredients. Right, yeah. That, when you see that. The law natural says, flavoring. Right, right, the law says that it can be whatever. 5% right. could be, you know, rat turd or oh, something. Yeah. I, mean, it's know, <laughs> I know some of the products out there I've gone through and did some more research on and in natural flavorings, there's MS. Yeah. Well, here's a good example. So if you're in the diet, you're thinking you're going to use stevia. This was one of the things I discovered when I went. Yes. I'm buying stevia. I've been using stevia for years. When I read it, it says it's got detrose in it. Wait a minute, but that's not stevia. That's, 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 that's sugar. That's sugar. It's table sugar. But it's got it in the <laughs> stevia. That's right. <laughs> uh, there's one uh, stevia product out there in going through all the products that I have for my patients. I looked at the ingredients, and there's no stevia in it, in it. And that's what they said it was. It was stevia. And I'm like, there's nothing in here that's stevia. <laughs> it's a crazy kind of thing that, that our food industry has been able to lobby the government to really jostle the laws so that they can really lie. Yeah. I mean, that, I don't know how else to say it. They can lie. The label on the outside doesn't mean squat. Now, for the most part, they do have to tell you what, what the main ingredients are. Mm -hmm. But when they say... Uh, natural flavorings or something that's one of the big lies mm -hmm. because it could be totally unnatural stuff exactly that's in there. because it, ideally a lot of people like if they get a chicken broth they're thinking okay well natural flavorings it must be just chicken flavoring right yeah. well actually what it means is this is naturally what other people put in this formulation right. when you eat it so right. people put sugar in it because it helps tenderize the meat so right. they put sugar in it right right improves, improves the flavor they often use a lot of flavor enhancers and most people understand it'll say flavor enhancer or something like yes. that. yes a flavor enhancer is usually some kind of neurotoxin yes exactly okay. <laughs> it's to trick your brain to think right. that it's actually more tasty it's going to stimulate it a nerve cell more than it normally would right so it makes your brain think it tastes better than it really is that kind of stuff exactly and and those things are pre they're the norm whereas 50 years ago they were not around right and that's the big thing. A lot of the foods are killing us because we're eating fake foods. Well, it's food chemistry. Yeah, it's food chemistry. We're not reading, you know? eating real food. We're eating food chemistry. <clears throat> yeah. So we're talking about detoxifying the body. How do we how do we detoxify the body? You know, there's a lot of big questions. That's a huge question mark. And a lot of people that say, well, I did this cleanse or I did that. And amazingly, some of the things are even not even cleansable right. you know what i mean that's the thing you know we talked about aluminum in the, in the last week's show 
and getting in the body. Well, aluminum is not something your body knows right. how to deal with. It right. does not know how to detoxify in this situation. So there you got to get into chelation. How are you going to get that pulled out of the cell right. structure so that you can do that? So you've got to really, to really understand where you're at, you've got to understand how your body's working to be able to detoxify really I well. I remember when my, my son was young, we actually put him through a chelation program because, yeah. again, a lot of autistic kids have excess amounts of mercury for some reason because of the shots had it in. You don't hear that. From the shots had it in. <laughs> so it made a big difference right away. Yeah. I mean, after we went through the program, it, we saw a difference. And again, a lot of the other doctors and the scientists poo-poo all that stuff. Hey, all That's I go right. by what I see. That's, you know, Not necessarily what your studies are that were paid for by the pharmaceutical companies right. say. That's, when you got real life results, that's what yeah. matters. And you know, so there's there steps you can take. Can you detoxify the body? You better believe you can. There's well, so well, many tell, ways tell them what that. happens. When, when you eat a toxin, what does the body do with that toxin? Well, you know, the body, it, it identifies it as an enemy. Uh, how and does so it protect it? What's the first thing that happens whenever an enemy enters? Inflammation. Yeah. So you start to get inflammation going through the body. So you're inflamed. Now, so now you're gaining weight because right. your body's getting inflamed and it's getting puffy. Your joints start to hurt, so that starts to happen. You know, as, as you go through the digestive tract, it even gets more and more uh, kind of a grave story as you go through that because as it gets absorbed, it can start to manipulate how your DNA is working. It can manipulate how your cells are actually performing their jobs. I, I, re I read that the, your body, in your article actually, it says that your body will try to encapsulate the toxin in fat. Yes. And that's and what, that's and what, then what, then yes. what happens to the fat? Well, your body stores the fat. That's right. So, so a lot of people, when they're having a situation, I can't understand why I'm gaining so much weight is one of the things I hear a lot of. And a lot of times I'll say, you know, it's because your body is so toxic. Right. It just can't deal with the level of toxins you're giving it. And when it gets overloaded, what's it going to do? Right. It's going to store it in fat. Yeah. And again, if you don't get rid of that fat, you're still storing those toxins. Those chickens will come home to roost at some point. That's right. And I know what we're, we're almost coming up to the break here. We've got a couple of minutes still. Um, I remember at one point in life that I, this was about 20 years ago that I decided I was going to go on a weight loss program. And I was doing a lot of windsurfing and stuff. And I had only gained like 10 pounds, but I wanted to go faster. Yes. And I knew if I could lower my weight, I could go faster because it's power to weight ratio, that kind yep. of thing. Mm -hmm. So I lost like 20 pounds. And all of a sudden, I got this big rash on my face. And I'm like, why in the hell am I getting this big rash on my face? And the reason was because I was burning all that fat. Yes. And when you burn the fat that was storing toxins. And they come out again. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna have some side effects. In most cases, some people, they get headaches. Some people, right. you know, they, they're going to have some kinds of problems. So getting rid of the fat can be a double-edged sword in the beginning because a lot of times people will quit because oh, I'm not feeling good. Right, exactly. And that's the thing is that they, they, that derails their whole program and they say, I'm not going to do this anymore. And right, so I'm going to get happens? the comfort food. That's right. But what, <laughs> what happens with the toxin? Right. It's still in it the body. It stays there. Right. Your it body gets repackaged in new fat and Right. It's put back go. away and then you're still having it and it eventually... If you don't kill them chickens and get them out, <laughs> it's a big problem. <laughs> so I know we got a couple of seconds left. Um, we're going to be talking about the tip of the week. Yes. So what's this tip of the week? Well, we're going to talk about cleansing and rest. Sometimes less is more. Okay. So we'll be right back after this commercial break. Stay tuned. Hi, it's Dr. John Thomas again from Vibrant Life Health Center. We're talking about a tool that's going to benefit you today. A lot of people come into the office with chronic neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, sciatic pain, and they're wondering what is the real problem. This tool that we call the Titron can identify where those problems really are in your body without any inaccuracy. So it gives us a really good opportunity to identify specifically what we need to do chiropractically to take care of your issues so we can lead to resolution. Whether that be a headache issue, whether it be a chronic shoulder problem, a neck problem, and through this process of using the Titron, we can identify specifically how our care is going to be focused on those issues to address what you have specifically. The cool thing about this is that you don't have to question where your issues are. And we can do this because we have a special running right now where you can come in and have a, a Titron scan at no charge here at Vibrant Life Health Center. 
Uh, we were talking about the health tip before we left, yeah. and uh, what we're talking about there is cleansing and rest, and uh, you know sometimes less is more. And the reason we bring that up is because a lot of times when people get on a program for health, they get on a, you know they'll buy a bunch of products, they'll go on Google, they'll find out what they want, and they start taking these, and they take them for six, eight months, a year long, yeah. and their body has never had a break. Right. And especially when you're burning fat and doing those kinds of things, sometimes it's really important to step back and take a break, let the body have seven days with no supplementation. I think I loved how you said it earlier, a vitamin vacation. Right, take a vitamin you know, vacation. I mean, a, most people don't even realize that, although I would tell you that vitamins and minerals and supplements are really good for you if you take them right. Right. Because you can actually take them wrong. Oh, you, you sure can. Wrong. But they, they actually have an extra burden on the body. Anything that you stick in your body has to be handled by the body. Exactly. You know, I cover that a lot. I love that you brought that up because when we talk about it, uh, somebody will say, okay, well, I have a, uh, a magnesium deficiency. Okay, so I'm going to grab this multivitamin. It's got a list of 30 things in this thing. Right. Not and just magnesium. It's yeah, got a whole bunch of stuff. It's a whole bunch of stuff. And so the magnesium is what you need, and then you're going to be, now you're sufficient already in all these right. things, but you're going to put that all on the body, and now the body has to deal with this. Right. And we've already talked about how it'll identify some of this a toxin and put it in fat. And, and so you have that. I think I was thinking of, you know, the, the show we did last week is we are talking a little bit about the elderly and how they break bones and all kinds of stuff. One of the things that happens is they have less calcium. So right. because they have less calcium, their bones get, you know, Brittle. weak and they break and stuff like that. So a lot of times they'll take calcium. You see women, the commercials for the women's oh, calcium all the time. The reality is if you're sucking down calcium, and you're not making it balanced with magnesium or some other stuff, you're going to have some That's serious really issues. That's a because, you know, great point, because if you have all this calcium going in the body, well, the adrenals have to produce a hormone right. called aldosterone, right. and that's what actually helps manage that type of situation in the body. And if you keep pounding it out there, you're going to create adrenal fatigue. Right. And then if adrenal fatigue happens, your energy structure goes down, your immune system starts to falter, you start to really see the systems in the body start to break down and just because we've over supplemented. And I, I remember reading that when you're doing too much calcium, it also can help cause calcification in your arteries. And mm -hmm. There's all kinds of issues. Again, if you, if you do supplement, supplementation improperly, it can be as bad as taking too many you know, pharmaceutical drugs or whatever. Exactly, exactly. So, Anyway, de we're talking about detoxifying the body today. Yes. Um, there's lots of things that, you know, people have to think about because toxins cause all kinds of issues. They not only just cause health issues, mm -hmm. all kinds of health issues. Right. They can also cause weight issues. They can. And, you know, we've, we've hit that really hard as far as understanding. When your body is toxic, it, it's basically like throwing something in there and the body says, I don't know what to do with this. Yeah. What am I going to do with this? And, you know, all the sisters are like, well, I don't want it, I don't want it. We talked about that and joked around about who's going to do the show kind of thing. Right. And when you have that going on in the body, pretty soon the, the body just says, well, stack, stack it in fat, put it down there, and we'll just never have to deal with it again because we're never getting rid of the fat. So in this country, we know that a lot of people are overweight. I mean, and the article says 60% of Americans are overweight. Probably it's a bigger number now. Probably, I want to say, you said 74% now. 74% yeah. are overweight. That means 74% of them have lots of toxins in their body. That's right. I mean, simple numbers the way I look at it. Yeah. <laughs> if you've got fat in your body, you're storing the toxins that are going through because your, your liver can only handle so much toxins. It's, it's, it's going to be overloaded okay. and it's going to let go. Your body's going to normally encapsulate it. I mean, one of the things, that the liver has breakdown functions. It can break them down with certain chemicals. When it starts running out of those chemicals, it starts sticking them in fat. That's right. Put it over there. It's like triage. Yeah, it is. It is. It's just like going and putting it, just like shipping it off into the right. fat zone. It's, it puts you know? it over there because I can't deal with it. Okay, right. and it's almost only a certain amount that you can excrete to get rid of. I mean, exactly. so your body starts storing it, and it becomes a huge problem. And one of the things I really liked about the Nutrimost program, their system is designed not to make you lose weight, but to make you lose fat. Yes. And it, it also works primarily on the places that you want to lose fat. Like for me, I carried a lot of the fat right on my belly. Mm hmm. And now, I mean, you can almost see ripples. I mean, I almost got a six-pack. I got All like right. a four-pack. Got a four-pack. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, again, losing fat is a great way to, to get rid of the toxins. Now, for some people, I understand that if you got a lot of fat, mm -hmm. you're going to have probably a period that you're going to feel a little uncomfortable. Yeah, we talked about that, the rash you had set on your face. Right. You know, and, and that's enough to derail people from doing that. You know, And, and there's a lot of other issues that toxins can create in the body, whether it be headache, whether it be constipation, nauseousness. I've seen people, diarrhea, I mean, all yeah. kinds of stuff. And again, 
it's worth the three or four or five days, or even it could yeah. be a ten day period that you got to go through to to get rid of those most oh, of the absolutely. toxins before you can start really dealing with the thing. But even if your weight stayed steady for ten days and you were still burning fat, that's right. You can still be burning fat and gaining weight because a lot of times what happens if you're dehydrated and you start That's rehydrating. Right. Your cells start taking in your more Your weight water. stays the same, but you're still getting rid of the fat. So if you have a way of measuring the fat burn, that's critical. So once one of the things I have is I have a scale that mm -hmm. measures how much body fat I have, yep. how much water I have. So I can actually see that even if I wasn't losing weight, right. I was actually losing fat during that time. Oh, that yeah. Really we cool. have a lot of people who say, you know, hey, I've lost, uh, my fans don't fit and I understand the scale didn't move. Well, right. let me explain why that happens. Right. And that happens, you could also be gaining muscle. That's right. So there are other things that could be going on. And a lot of times if people aren't paying a close attention, mm -hmm. they actually are improving, but they didn't see the needle move for weight, and that's, that's right. causing them a problem. Or they felt they felt crappy. They had headaches or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think the most common thing I've seen people is have headaches. I right. know I had headaches at some point in time. I haven't had any in years. The, the Loosen the weight is a great way to get rid of headaches. Right, in my exactly, okay? exactly. Because it really lowers the overall burden on the body, in my opinion. I mean, totally. I'm not a doctor by any stretch of the imagination, but I can tell you in my life that's the way it's been. So, one of the things that you mentioned in there says the World Health Organization refers to, to these disrupting chemicals as obesogenics. Obesogenics. Obesogenes, obesogenics. Yes. I mean, there's a name for it. Ah. Can you believe that? And, and what, what a name it is, obesogenes. <laughs> you know? And so you have these in all the products. I mean, even... You know, amazing, it's amazing That's different it from Oprah genes or yeah. anything like that. <laughs> but these are the triggers. These are the things that we're talking about. The toxins that are in our foods, that are in our drinks, that are in our environment that we breathe in, and they are the things that trigger your body into storing fat. Right. And they list like 800 different oh, types of it's chemicals crazy. on there. But yes. I'm sure the number is much bigger than that. Because oh, yeah. again, huh. there are a lot of things that they don't list in there, like when we're talking about the food, the drugs that yeah. you take. You know, uh, I remember my mom... She was taking like 16 medications at one point in time, mm -hmm. okay? And I had to work hard to go to the pharmacist and say, can she take these things together? And finally, I got her down to like nine, you know? And then after helping her with her diet and a bunch of other stuff, got her down to six. Those things, she lost 20 pounds just doing that. Right. And probably had better energy, yeah. felt more clarity in her thought. I mean, these are the kind of things we're talking about. This, these toxins that get in your body, they really derail how your body functions right. at the cellular level, at the system level, how you can even feel how your body's running. And take in mind, we're not even talking about the self-abusive things like drinking too much alcohol. Right. Oh, definitely. Okay, or taking drugs or you know, yeah. that kind of stuff. Those are toxins in and of themselves. Okay? Yes. So smoking. Smoking is That's very toxic. I mean, yes. a cigarette, I don't, Carl's often, my partner Carl's often talk about how many toxins are in a cigarette. Well, they put like, you know, the stuff that they use to make carpet. That's right. So that it'll, so it'll go out if you sit the cigarette down. Oh, absolutely. So you're smoking the carpet fibers. I mean, what yeah. the? You know, it's amazing. It's, you bring up a very good point there to identify how many toxins we put in the things we have versus even other places in this yeah. country. One of the things that we all know is in the Asian culture, smoking is pretty prevalent. Yeah. A lot of people smoke. And if you look at their stats for lung cancers and those types of things, they're not that high yeah. for their population. But that's because they eat a lot of different kinds of foods. It, that's one thing. But the other thing is that even the cigarettes themselves don't have the amount of toxins that right. the cigarettes do right. in this they, country. They're just smoking tobacco. Yeah. I like the commercial <laughs> that I see on TV where the, the guy's doing something, and then this thing that looks like a little hand comes out <laughs> and runs across <laughs> the room and backs itself up into a cigarette package. I don't know if you've ever seen that commercial pretty well. <laughs> it's a really scary-looking thing. That's what cigarettes are. They're really scary-looking things because in this country... They put artificial stuff in oh, the tobacco. Do. It's not just yeah. tobacco. Oh, yeah. And then how they farm the leaves and all this. I mean, it's, it's, it just builds up. And people don't realize that when they're taking these things into their body, yeah. they think, oh, well, I can just detoxify it. My body's built to do this. And it's not. Yeah. And here, the newest craze is, which is vaping, oh, which yes. I actually think is much better than smoking cigarettes, American cigarettes, I should say. But a lot of the vaping stuff is not highly regulated. It's not. They have carcinogens. So you can get all them. kinds they of have, junk yes, in it. So if yes. you're not getting a really good product, you're probably vaping. And, and what sucks is when you vape, it's sucked directly into your lungs as a as a. a That's right. A, it's like steam. It's, it's, yeah, it's yes. Mist. Yeah. So it's immediately absorbed into your bloodstream. Yes. It's, it's, like it's a direct. Little, it's a direct awake. It's almost like cracking. You do a crack, <laughs> except it's vape. 
<laughs> so, yeah, and, and so these things are some big things that we have to understand. And these obesity genes, they're prevalent in our system, they're prevalent in our foods, and they're definitely being taken in. And if you don't have a, a, a strategy and an understanding of what you're going to do to eliminate and reduce these, you're really in an uphill battle. So I, what I would tell you is if, if you're really interested in looking at this from an objective measure, not just... Right. What the best thing to do is... Go to somebody like Dr. John, which is who I recommend you go to, and let them do a write-up on you. Exactly. Okay. Maybe right now they have a special on on if you were if like if you were going to go into the Nutrimo system, which I went through, which I really love. They look at everything 19 ways from Sunday. Yes. Yes, we do, and and you know that's 27 dollars for that VCA that we right. do. And you come in and you're going to sit down with me specifically. I'm going to go through that information. It's not like we're just going to give you a pack and say, there you go, there's your write-up. Yeah. And we're going to explain this to you. How is this affecting your body? How is this affecting your health? What is it telling you about what's happening in the future? Right. And, and you can kind of take a look at that and say, okay, based on that information, I can make a really better decision on how I'm going to plan for my health. Right. And again, I told you, I don't know how many times, how much weight I've lost. So I started out at 208. That's right. And I'm now, uh, this morning I weighed myself, I was 171.8. Fantastic. I, may, I, weigh, I weigh myself pretty much every day. It's one of the first things I do mm -hmm. in the beginning of the day. And I, again, if you're not paying attention to your weight, the likelihood of you gaining weight is pretty high. So That's right. people who actually maintain a, a, a lighter weight, they're usually they're paying attention to it. So, yes. Um, but I've maintained it effortlessly. Last night I had a piece of pound cake. Uh, three days ago I had two, three pieces of pizza. I mean, I can eat regular stuff and still not gain weight. Right. And part of it is because the bulk of my habits are really, really good. And if I want to indulge right. every once in a while, it's not a big deal. And there's probably times, I know in the program that what we've taught you is there's times you're going to take a break and you're going to eat very specific things to give mm -hmm. your body a chance to have very clean food, right. toxin-free, that your body has that time to rest and detoxify yeah. and clean out some of the stuff from the, the fun times that you right. had. And I, I, one of the things I liked is I stopped all my vitamins at the beginning of it. I went through just the supplements that are for specifically to the program. But I'm a big big proponent of vitamin vacations. I mean, a lot of times I do a two-day vacation. So it's uh -huh. the weekend, I'm not taking nothing. I'm just going to eat, drink my water, whatever. I might mm -hmm. have a glass of wine here and there. But that's really the way I, I, I roll. And I'll do week-long ones. A lot of times when I would go away on a Boy Scout summer camp, mm -hmm. it's a week-long thing, I wouldn't take any vitamins. Yeah. It's just more stuff to carry anyway out there. But I would be, that would be my vitamin week vacation that I, I do every yeah. year. So doing those vitamin vacations are very good. But again, if you're big into supplements and all that stuff, you really need to look at them. So, for example, a lot of people enter weight loss programs, and they go out and get weight loss supplements. Yes. Now, you really need to look at them very, very closely because a lot of those supplements have all kinds of junk in them. They do. You know, it, it, I always tell everybody, if you're going to go get a generic right. box, you're going to get a generic result, you know? Well, no, for example, one of the big crazy ones that you see on Dr. Oz is like Garcinia Cambodia. Yes. Yeah, there, there's a billion copies of that product out there, and most of them don't have any Garcinia Cambodia. Yeah, or the percentage is so traced. Right, right. It's just it's not effective. Or even worse, they'll put stuff in it that counteracts the Garcinia exactly. Cambodia. Exactly. Which like calcium. Because it's an obesity. <laughs> That's what we talked about. Definitely, this is a great article packed with information that right. will really help you about trigger foods, disruptors, right. all those types of things. So you definitely want to take a look at this article and dig deep into it. Yeah. So we're coming up to the end of the show. I want to remind everybody, take advantage of the Titron scan. I don't remember if we mentioned that at the beginning don't of the show. We, no, we have a free Titron scan. Okay? Yes. Free. F-R-E-E. -E. I mean, <laughs> if you don't take if you don't take advantage of this, it's crazy. It really, it's a no brainer. Okay, yeah. it's a no brainer. I don't want to call anybody stupid, but it's a no brainer. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go and do it because it's really good for you. Um, and they also have the Nutrimo special that's going on right now too. So I know next week's show we're going to be talking about uh, recipes, for recipes for a healthy, for Thanksgiving, a healthy because Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is coming up really soon. That's right. And uh, you want to enjoy your Thanksgiving. 